Time to revisit a classic. There are many ways to patch a bouncing ball. This is just one of them. What we want to do is use a shorter function to control the amplitude of the signal and a longer one to engage this shorter function as well as to cause it to speed up. We'll use channel four as the amplitude function. Here's what it sounds like if left to cycle. Now let's patch an attenuated output from channel one into the fall input for channel four. This causes the ball to periodically speed up. I like channel one to be just slightly logarithmic so the ball seems to accelerate faster as it goes along. Now, instead of cycling channel one, let's trigger it. Here's a gate from pressure points. Of course, once it reaches max speed, we'd like it to trail off instead of just continuing forever. So let's also use channel one's EOR gate to turn cycling on and off for channel four. I also like to use another copy of the channel four output to perform some light linear FM on the oscillator, adding a little more bounciness to the sound. Cephalus. One final optional touch is to use another channel of the Optimix to have these bounces get softer as they get faster. To do that, we'll patch output 1 to input 2, and we'll use the other maths channel 1 output to control this Optimix channel. We could head in a different direction by patching the bouncing ball through the QPOS instead. <laughs> 